good evening friends meeting in the session of madraya medical and today we are going to learn one more polycrest from our madraya medical that is the arsenic album wonderful remedy and very useful in day to day practice in fact you cannot uh, without arsenic you cannot practice it is so important in your practice so we have to discuss many cases while learning the arsenic album and there are many cases in my mind which which are very perfectly treated with the arsenic album so we'll discuss regarding certain remedies for certain cases first and then we'll start with allen's key notes regarding the arsenic album first case which uh, many of you might have been knowing because i i have shared that case uh, on gaurang's platform while discussing the acute cases and emergencies it was a wonderful case in my practice where i have treated only with the just a logic within a second i have utilized logic and used the remedy so it was a, a way back in 1995 96 mm, time a child was brought to me who was just a 6 7 years old and his mother early in the morning around 8:45 Mm, to nine, he uh, she brought him, and she said only two sentences. Sir, see, see, see this fellow that this is he is having two times vomiting, and suddenly he become he stopped talking. He is not uttering a single word. And she explained that yesterday we have done the meat and. whatever was remaining today morning he ate that also and he got two vomiting and he stopped talking and i just checked him i took him asked him to bring on the table and when he was lying down i just kept the hand on his pulse and he was found to be pulseless it was an acute emergency he was really pulseless only thing was his eyes were open but he was completely in shock shock state the moment she said that it has happened because he ate the meat which was there utilized yesterday and today morning he ate the same food and he got only two vomiting and he suddenly went into such a shock state the remedy which talks you know, which stuck in my mind was arsenic alum i never have done anything i put directly two drops of arsenic album 200 in the mouth of that patient and i just lifted in in my hand in the same position lying down position on first floor there is my hospital indoor so i took him to indoor and when i brought him from ground floor to first floor and when i kept him on bed his pulse returned he he came out of that shock within a minute it it has passed just a minute or two and i kept him in the hospital i, I have given one drip of the electrolytes that's all and nothing more required no more repetition of dose nothing he becomes he came out of the situation within 5 minutes he was completely awakened and then he started talking and all thing and in the evening i have discharged him no there is no need to repeat the dose of arsenic album that was the first incidence where i have utilized just a thought in my mind intellect that this is the remedy where the sausage poisoning is there where the food poisoning is there an acute patient enters into the acute shock where the prostration is very much and it is a rapid sinking rapid so it 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 is, it is not a slow process with which it develops in arsenic album it develops all of sudden that is very typical the prostration which is rapid sinking of vital forces that is the word which has been used by allen in the first sentence in the book is that and that was there that is that is the theme which you have to catch when you treat emergency and i have given that and i have 
really appreciated yes remedies work instantaneously because it was early in my practice 1995 means just five years of my practice i was there treating this case so it was a very nice incidence which i have treated with the help of arsenic a wonderful remedy even though it is a very defecting remedy 60 to 90 days action is there of arsenic album still its pace is very fast Keep it in your mind. The, here, it is not a slow pace is there. It is a remedy which acts very fast. Acute action, very fast. Like aconite, it works instantaneously. Like belladonna, it works instantaneously. It is a remedy from sorosyphilitic miasm. Sorosyphilitic miasm means tubercular miasm. And tubercular miasm is generally a very active miasm. And that's why it is a very fast speedy recovery happens and speedy disease also happens in arsenic patient. So it is a very fast, rapid thinking of vital forces, which is the theme of this arsenic album. One should understand. So a patient who was, it is not needed that patient should have 30 vomitings and then it is one or two vomitings, three vomitings, finish, patient goes into shock. Think of arsenic album. This is the difference between veratrum album and arsenic album. This is the difference where you can find it out. This acuteness in presentation with little, little uh, discharge, but still patient enters into the poison. One more thing which I want to explain you. Uh, gastroenteritis associated with the fever, with a thirst. Thirst for sips of water. No other remedy. Think of arsenic alone. Gastroenteritis where toxicity is marked. So gastroenteritis, which is typically a bacillary, typical bacillary dysentery where toxicity is marked, arsenic plays very, very vital role. And how, how much doses? Question arises, how much doses you are going to give? I generally use 200, not needed, even 1M is not needed because arsenic is very acute in action. 200 is sufficient and one dose every now, after every vomiting or after every diarrhea, you can repeat one more dose. So, if patient passes five times to see, if patient should take it five times. If patient, after first dose, patient's vomiting stops, there is no need to repeat. So, that is a very typical method which I used to use whenever gastroenteritis is there. So, it automatically settles whether to repeat or not to repeat in such, such types of cases. So this is first important case which I have shared with you. One more case I want to share with you. It was a case. Here, the case was not acute. The patient was brought to me from Loni. And patient was a case of liver cirrhosis with a very tense abdomen. Fully, fully loaded with the ascites fluid. Tremendous. As if, if you just put a needle it will burst that that type of <coughs> severe ascites was there with that fellow. He was very restless. He was not able to sit in one place. Because of, basically because of his ascites, it was difficult for him to sit. And second important, he, he become restless because of his disease also. At the same time, with the mind, he was restless whether he was going to survive or not. He was asking, doctor, what will happen to me? I am feeling that it is now my death is near. They have taken fluid two, two days back and again it is full. Two times up till now we have taken it out. So what to do? And he was in a very, very, very anxious mood. That was very difficult with the arsenic. Then they are not panic like aconite. Aconite comes in panic state. Arsenic comes in anxious states. So I asked regarding all those things and he's told that there is a, he used to drink a water every sip, every, after some time. And he was quite chilly patient. Around 50, 54 years of age. A patient from village. And he was alcoholic earlier. So he was knowing that his pet is near and very restless because of all those thoughts which are gathered in his mind. So I decided to give him arsenic. Here I have I have given him arsenic six. Because 
at that time i never had the lm potency it was it was again in early in my practice when i used to practice in uh, at my father's place in in his hospital there was a separate consulting room for me so mm, there uh, lm in my practice came very late so i was i used arsenic album 6c three doses i have given and started with him on the um just a placebo and i kept him I, because it was pathological case i was little bit worried while treating him because it was very early in my practice around 2 3 years of my practice and this fellow came to me so i have given arsenic album 6 and i have given placebo and asked him after 10 days placebo three times a day after 10 days he entered in my clinic and never recollect who is this fellow because the picture was he came with hanging belly hanging belly actually the whole abdomen was hanging whole ascites disappeared not a fluid at all there and belly was hanging over there and his face was completely changed which which was i i could not recollect for for three four minutes that is the same patient it was wonderful to see that arsenic album worked so nicely in that case and brought out the patient immediately with this ascetic fluid this is a good remedy in ascites where the liver is at fault and it is it worked as a diuretic over there and that fellow recovered wonderfully after arsenic album 6 so these these are there are many more cases i can share many more there are every off and on i used to utilize the arsenic in practice specifically in gastroenteritis i have told you that this is the first remedy which you have to think when fever is associated always keep it in your mind fever should be there it is a toxic gastroenteritis which you can get in arsenic album the person is a person comes to you in a restless phase he is little bit disturbed because of this and when you check him the pulse is little bit thready not full bounding in arsenic album and he craves for the water that is the thing with which they present and diarrhea very typically it is watery diarrhea quantity is not much but still patient gets dehydrated very early patient gets into the shock very early patient The voice is not clear, sir. Hello. 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 Is it clear now? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So. it is it is a remedy which which you can use in such cases where gastroenteritis associated with fever associated with thirst for sips of water and a toxic look on the face because it is a remedy which is uh, one more important remedy in toxemia or septicemia so you have to understand all those things these are very important clinically you should able to catch the remedy in acute the clinical presentation matters a lot where you have to catch the remedy the patient sweats the sweating is not cold sweating severe cold sweating which happens to be there in veratrum elbow yes there is a sweating in arsenic elbow but not that much of veratrum but here the patient is in a state of shock again so arsenic is a wonderful remedy where there is a cholera or a now cholera is very less but gastroenteritis generally any variety a bacillary dysentery keep it in your mind the arsenic is the remedy it is not aloes where we have learned that remedy entamoeba stylitica i mean big dysentery is there here the remedy is bacillary dysentery and that's why we have to understand all those things very clear okay so these are things which we have discussed tomorrow we'll discuss few more cases of arsenic album let us go with the alin what is this regarding it arsenic album white oxide of the arsenic the word there is wrong wrongly written arnica it has been written it is arsenic album as2o3 
great prostration with rapid sinking of the vital force. See, first sentence, that's what I was explaining. Great prostration, severe prostration given in bold, three marks. With rapid sinking of vital forces, it is so fast. It never, it never takes, it is not slowly developing thing. It is a rapid sinking, sudden, all of a sudden. So patient goes into the shock, sudden. See, this is what you have to catch. Gold-headed can patient will discuss while discussing all those mentors will one by one, definitely. Fainting. What is a fainting? Fainting is patient is going into the state of shock. Fainting is because of vesovagal shock also. It is a shock which is because of vagal, vesovagal stimulation and that's why patient all of a sudden falls down. This is typical with the arsenic album and it is because of the loss of vital fluids but not too much quantity it is but still rapidly he enters into that state now the disposition is and understand this disposition three points a b c mentioned by allen and every word is important first disposition is a depressing patient is absolutely depressed hopeless the face is showing the depression the melancholy, melancholy, despairing, and then becoming indifferent. But three, first three words which you should catch on the patient's countenance. Countenance means face, chehrepati. It should be on the face. And you can catch this fellow. Yes, definitely. This remedy goes into the fa in favor of tubercular myosin, cancer myosin, and these patients have the pathologies like that. And then they go into that state where they fear that they will going to get a death. The death is nearby and they become anxious, sad, gloomy, melancholy, despair, depressed, all that and all that is expressed on their face. The faces which you have to catch and the, those faces always gives you, expresses exactly what the patient patient what with what patient comes in so you you just look towards them and find it out yes this is patient is depressed just look what is the indifference indifference means now they have lost interest in anything if you ask them that what what what, what else you have decided now they talk in such things doctor now what what i can do i don't have to do anything I have lost it. I don't want to do anything. He he becomes indifferent completely now to his situation. And this has happened because, because he has depressed a lot. That is very typical with the arsenic. So arsenic, whenever the pathology is advanced, patient always goes or lands in this specific state. And that state you have to catch when you are dealing with the arsenic. And if pathologies are there, my suggestion for you, utilize the LM potency. LM is very useful. LM you give and repeat and in LM you get very good results in such pathology. And you are not worried about the aggravation in LM. That's why very important in pathological cases always use LM. Now second is in specifically happens in acute state. They are anxious. They are fearful. They are restless. They are full of anguish. Full of anguish is the suffering. Anguish in Marathi, we call it athana. It is, it is a very severe suffering and patient is, patient is already in that suffering. The suffering which is physical as well as mental. That troubles the patient is the anguish. Anguish is the state of mind because of physical and mental, mental pains. So see, anxiety is out of which is arising from his illness. So anxiety, all varieties of anxiety. Anxiety about his health, anxiety about his future, anxiety about his family, anxiety about his disease. Now, arsenic is most anxious remedy in whole Mother America and all varieties of anxiety. If you go with the repertory, find it out anxiety is a main rubric and then go with the subrubric. You will get a maximum things you will get the arsenic album. 
So you have to understand that this anxiety, why he has said in this disposition or that it is the disposition with which patient present. Fearful. He fears a death law. He fears regarding many, many, many small things. That is very difficult with the RC. And whenever the pain is there, he becomes so restless. He is restless both mentally as well as physically, but mentally more restless. And that restlessness arises because of what because of the anxieties which are there, the worries which are there in his mind. And third important thing, irritable, sensitive, peevish, and easily vexed. These things is the general condition of arsenic alpha. Even he is not so severely diseased, even he is just in an acute state, he is quite irritable personally. He reacts in a instantaneous manner, very sensitive to mild things. He is a fastidious person. And what type of fastidiousness is that? It is called as a pathological fastidiousness. Pathological fastidiousness means it is a thing which is which goes in favor of compulsive neurosis, obsessive compulsive neurosis or OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, that type of fastidiousness. What is that? A person comes, <clears throat> if there is a book set kept on the um, table, he changes its direction, make, tries to make it in a proper position. After some time, again he looks towards it, again tries to do the same thing. That type of fastidiousness, he, he, he does the same thing again and again. If he wants to clean the thing, he goes on cleaning the things again and again. Whole day they are cleaning. That is the pathological fastidiousness. It is a disease. It is absolutely disease. And that's what you have to catch. So, this fastidiousness which is there, which is the reason why he becomes irritable. If the things are in not proper in place, arsenic becomes too irritable. He wants that if I am doing such and such thing in such a manner, people are not doing it. Tomorrow I will share one case, very interesting case regarding this. He is very sensitive. It's peevish. Peevish manje chirko. He used to get irritated on small things, many small things. And basically when they are related, arsenic gets disturbed when anyone interferes with their uh, things. And arsenic gets irritable at that specific time. He wants everything in a perfect manner and if it never happens, he becomes peevish and easily vexed. Vexed means santa. Tremendous the things which he has done in a proper manner and someone disturbed that finished the anger inside and full of anger but sometimes he can't express it he goes into the state of vexation that is characteristic so we have to understand all those things peevish means angry easily irritable peevish uh, the differentiation according to your own language, if you make it, that will be more clearer to you. Uh, because, because things become very clear in your mother tongue. And there are very simple differences, simple differences with which you can catch it in very easily. I can explain it in Marathi, but I cannot explain it in any other language. English, it is a little bit irritability which is there. Um, on the very small things, that is a peevish nature is there. Generally happens to be there with the children. This is peevishness happens to be there. So this is the state of the arsenic or disposition of the ar arsenic which has been mentioned in these three typical sentences. So this one should not forget. The one more sentence will finish. The greater the suffering, the greater the anguish. See, greater the suffering, greater the anguish. If the suffering is more, the pains are more, he suffered mentally as well as physically because of that. He becomes very, 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 very irritated, angry on, on himself because, because the pains are very more, very much severe. Greater the suffering, greater the anguish, restlessness, 
and fear of death. All three things. Greater the anguish, greater the restlessness, as well as greater the fear of death. And that is also marked with the arsenic like aconite. But only difference is that aconite comes to you in a different mood or a different state. Arsenic comes to you with same fear of death, but in a different manner. Aconite comes to you in a panic state. Yes, doctor, I will die. Do, do something. He's, he's in a turmoil. He's in an acute agony. Arsenic is Arsenic comes, says, doctor, what do you do? I will, whether I will get clear? He asks the same sentence again and again for 10 times before leaving you. He was very doubtful regarding this. Recover. And that anxiety affects the arsenic much more. So you have to understand this state. We have learned the same state when we have learned the economy. We have learned the Naksumika yesterday. The same state, first few paragraphs. And this is where actually the disposition, patient's condition, patient's presentation is hidden. These are the states which we have to catch and fix in our mind when we look towards the acute cases. If you want to develop the acute OPD, you must learn this. Because this presentation, if you keep it in your mind, you never forget. Then you catch, yes, sir, this is arsenic is coming, this is aconite is coming, NUX is coming. Because you know the NUX. And for that purpose, you have to read this book again and again, thousand times. Then things become clear in your mind regarding the patients of Arsenal. So I think it's better to conclude over here. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and there are many more things which we have to learn. At least it will take three, four lectures to learn the Arsenic album. Again, a big polycrest which we have to learn. It's not just reading Arsenic album once. We have to understand each and every sentence from the arsenic. So we feel that uh, from Allen's it's too simple to read the remedy. No, Allen has a lot of meaning. If we understand it, then it becomes clear. So that's the for, that's all for today. If any queries are there, we have a chat. Sir, for, Sir uh, uh, I use I used to have. For corona, corona infection, they yeah. have recommended this arsenic amalgam. Yes. Only based on this four uh, fear of death, everybody got uh, afraid of fear of death like this book. Uh, there are many more futures. Arsenic covers all the futures. If you go with the COVID picture, in fact, I was the first one who posted on Facebook regarding the arsenic album. That this is the remedy, it's the genus epidemicus for arsen for the COVID-19. It was very, very ugly. First post was mine. In fact, at that time, that uh, what you can say, uh, that ethics were going where going on, even there was a complaint against me that how can you explain all those things, etc., by one few physician from Sangamner only. And thereafter, when CCRH and even government published arsenic as the remedy and then he came to me and apologized regarding those things. Uh, because arsenic covers the whole picture. It has a respiratory complaints. It has all the, that panic state was there, which was already there. Then arsenic has a rapid sinking of vital forces, which happens to be there with those cases. So patient was all of a sudden getting collapsed and died. You, that was the state which was very clear with the two disorders. We, even swine flu, I have posted the same thing, that this is the remedy. I have recommended it to the WHO as well as the CCRH at that time, that give arsenic album as a preventive remedy, as a genus epidemicus. And they agreed it after two months when swine flu was there. In fact, in Sangam, there, there was a tremendous fear because people, the students who were there in learning Pune, and they were coming to Sangamner uh, uh, because um, they were not getting food over there. And, and all members in the Sangamner, they were very much in a um, stress because they are 
thinking that they might get the swine flu. And I, uh, in uh, on those three, four days, there was a queue in my OPD to collect the arsenic album as a preventive remedy. So that that was the yes, it clears it. It is a clear cut picture which is there with the arsenic album, and that's why it was a preventive medicine. But it was used in a wrong way by many people, prepared it in a wrong way, and that's why it never worked many many cases. People have um, people have um, uh, prepared it in a barrel also. So how can it be? That is not the way with which we prepare the medicine. And there were a lot of phone calls to me. Can you give us thousand bottles freely? Not possible. It is not a thing. It takes time to prepare one bottle. And then they, they have brought the globules and put it in barrel and they have put arsenic album over there and they have spread it. This was a wrong way of doing it, but it was a wonderful remedy at that time as a preventive. Sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, one question. Sir, sir uh, patient uh, age 33 years. Mm -hmm. uh, married uh, uh, last uh, uh, three years ago. Married uh, three years ago. Now, there is no question, sir, because of fear. If if he uh, if he tried to uh, try for intercourse, pain pain started in in the in lower abdomen. Female patient, sir. Uh, there was a fear. Uh, I I found fear uh, of penetration. What should be the medicine, sir? I have given arnica. Uh, other in the, uh, totality, other medicines are coming, sir, like CP and uh, natrium. What is your advice, sir? Uh, my suggestion, you you if it is not related with arsenic, you put it in my inbox so that we can discuss. Uh, what happens? We are discussing arsenic album, and question is regarding anything else other than arsenic album. Then things are not clear to the people. You you put your questions in my inbox. Write it down in detail. I will answer you. Okay, sir. Okay. It should be related with the topic. Then it it might it will be useful for everyone who are there. Madhu has asked if constitutional remedy comes any acute any acute subacute remedy then. Is it necessary to find any defecting to settle the case in chronic conditions? If constitutional remedy comes in acute and subject, any remedy then is it necessary to find defecting? I could not understand your question, Madhu. Uh, sir, Samja, you have a case. You have a totality of the case. आणि नक्सवामिका की वह एक्वोराइट है आता सब अक्यूट की वह अक्यूट एक्टिंग रेमेडीज़ आहे तर मग त्या पेशेंट ला अपन ती कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडी मनुन कायम सोरूपी ठाउँ शक ठेउ शक्तो का त्या साटी की वह दूसरा कुटला क्रोनिक के साटी तोस पेशेंट आला अप्ले करे तर मग पुन्ना टोटलिटी कुन � Every time you're not going to get that. You might get anything. Uh, Nux will not going to cure a whole pathology if the pathology is there. Nux will going to cure the state. The state Achha, can be better. Nux will. I mean, we have to. Pure, I mean, that's why we have to deep acting remedies. Definitely. If the pathology is there, definitely. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. There are many questions regarding the potencies which we will discuss tomorrow. Uh, keep it copied so that we can discuss all those questions tomorrow. There are many questions regarding, can you please explain how to dispense LM scale? Already I have explained it many times in my videos. You can get it how, how I used to use. Many times I have explained. So can you please explain how to dispense? Okay. There is one more question. Show your pharmacy. I don't have pharmacy. I have uh, medicine self. I will, I will let you know the photographs how, how, how I have kept it. I have made a typical um, kitchen, like a kitchen trolley. I have made arrangement of the um, medicines to be kept. So it becomes simple to, for handling and I have kept 
one remedy in all potencies, right from six to the CM. And I have kept another um, self where I have kept the LM scales over there, LM potency. I will show you whenever time permits. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you being there. Tomorrow, uh, we'll meet on Monday directly, not tomorrow. Monday with the Arsenic album, with next part of Arsenic album. Thanks a lot and good night.